What's up, YouTube? We got another episode of the Shitbox Chronicles today. We're going to be talking about our brake master cylinder, which is this piece right here. Now, you can see mine's kind of shiny. It was replaced about a year ago. Um, to give you guys a little bit of background as to why I'm going to be replacing this particular part. If you've been following the channel, uh, you'll see that I attempted to do a regular brake change on the car. I changed the pads and rotors. But when I went to go bleed the brakes, I didn't have any pressure uh, to the rear. I turned on the car and then I had pressure to the to the rear, but none to the front. And it was it kept fluctuating. I assumed I had some seized calipers initially, uh, and it wasn't that. Then later I found out through some testing that my ABS pump was faulty. I got a new one and uh, I have pressure now, but it's not at the level it was before when I was driving it. Um, so. We have, we have a new prop valve, we have a new ABS pump, we have new calipers, we have new brakes, new rotors. The only thing really left is the brake master cylinder. And I didn't suspect this initially because like I said, it's already been replaced about a year ago. So I thought it was fine, but the more I read up on it, and then I talked to a local mechanic here in town who also owns an MR2, and he suspected the same thing. So we're gonna be replacing that, see if it fixes my uh, fluctuation issue with the brake pressures. Now for this it's real simple you're gonna want to undo two lines this one that one and then the four bolts holding it and then we're gonna bench bleed the master cylinder but anyway we'll get to that here in a little bit first let's go on to the unboxing of the new part and i'll show you guys uh the tools you're gonna need to get this job done all right so don't mind the mess in the background i'm still organizing the shop but what you're gonna need you're gonna need a 10 millimeter pipe wrench uh, this applies if you have the stock lines, which in this, this is what they look like. These are the stock lines. This simply goes through there and you hook it up. It's simply so you don't strip uh, the nuts. I do recommend you buy some of these. If you strip it, it's kind of a nightmare to get out. But um, there's that. I have the Willwood prop valve. So I'm going to be using a, a half inch to remove the, the lines. The lines I'm talking about is this one right here and that one right there. So again, half inch if you have the Willwood prop valve lines. Apart from that, you're gonna need a ratchet, uh, an extension, and a 12 millimeter socket. That's gonna be for the four bolts holding in the brake master cylinder. You can also get away with a simple 12 millimeter wrench. So either or, preference is up to you. Later on, you're gonna need a little bit of masking tape. Now this one is optional, but I find it makes it a little bit easier. And two clear hoses. Um, I'll show you exactly what this tape is used for later, but now let me show you guys the actual part We're going to be using to replace on the car All right, so this is pretty much how it comes in the box uh, We're actually upgrading the brake master cylinder. So I'm not using the to the Toyota MR2 one This one right here is a little bit bigger. This one comes off of a 94 Toyota Tacoma uh, And they they are supposed to bolt on directly I say supposed to because uh, I haven't put it on yet. I haven't test fitted it. But all this does, it's just supposed to give you a stiffer pedal feel. Uh, the bore inside the cylinder is a little bit bigger than the stock MR2 one. Now, you're not moving more fluid or anything like that. Uh, all you're doing is getting an increased uh, pedal feel. So I, I figured I'd try it. Why not? Uh, you can see we still have the four bolt holes that should line up. The, the lines hook up in the same spot. The cylinder here or not the the reservoir is a little bit bigger and we have a sensor here but don't worry about that we don't need to connect this uh sensor or anything because that's for a tacoma and obviously this is not going on a tacoma once we get the old one out i'll put them side by side so you guys can compare them uh at the end of the video i'll also kind of review what the, the pedal feel is like um supposedly it feels a lot more responsive and it's a lot stiffer I don't know. I haven't put this on, but I figured it was worth a shot. If it works out, great. If not, hopefully at least it solves my pressure issue. All right, so let's get to the removal of the old part and get this one in. First things first, you're going to want to undo the two lines you have here. Now, if you have the stock lines, it's in the same location, just different size. You'll use the 10 millimeter. In my case, I'm going to use the half inch since I'm on the Wildwood prop valve.
Now, you don't have to put the towel. You can see it's not really leaking, but it's kind of nice just to have to catch something. Uh, you can see a few drops there. All right, next, simply we're gonna disconnect the cap, follow the wires, uh, and it should have a connector down here. It's just put pressure and pull. Next, you're gonna wanna remove the four 12 millimeter uh, nuts. You have one, two, three, four, uh, keep in mind, if you have the Willwood prop valve, uh, that is your bracket, so you'll have to move that out of the way. Now just pull it up. All right, you guys, here's a little comparison of the old and the new. On the left-hand side here, under the blue, we have the original Toyota MR2 brake master cylinder. And you can see on the right-hand side, the one off a of 94 Tacoma. Of course, mine does have ABS, so mine is for the ABS version. You can see it sits a little bit taller. The, the reservoir is also a bit bigger. You can see kind of the size between these two. This one is obviously thicker. If, if I'm right, I think this one's a one inch uh, bore. This one might be like a three eighths. But anyway, you can see there's a noticeable size difference. Again, um, this isn't really gonna push more fluid or anything like that. The only thing it's supposed to do is give you an increased uh, response, a better feel, and uh, a shorter, how do I say? A shorter length of travel when you press the pedal because this one is moving uh, more fluid with a shorter stroke this one moves um, I guess less fluid with the longer stroke but at the end of the day they're both moving the same amount of fluid just um, one moves a little bit faster I guess you could say with shorter travel but anyway that's uh you can see they're both kind of identical the 94 Tacoma and uh, the 91 MR2, they both have in the same spots. Uh, I think even the little bleeder is at the bottom too on the same spot. So these, this should just bolt right in, but before that we do need to bleed it. It's important not to skip this step because since you're putting fluid in here, you wanna make sure it doesn't have any air bubbles. If it does have air bubbles, you could bleed your brakes forever and you might never get all the air out because you might have air here. All right. Let's go on to bleeding the 94 Tacoma uh, brake master cylinder. Okay, so to start, all I did, I, I just put the nipples from the other one on this one. So that's all it is. What we're gonna do, we're gonna connect each of these clear hoses. One goes here, one goes here, and then we're gonna route them into the reservoir, fill it with fluid, and then using a screwdriver or whatever you have on hand, push this and we'll be able to see the air coming out. So let me hook up these two clear hoses and we'll show you guys the next step okay you can see we have both hoses on now so that's good to go next just take off the cap and we're gonna fill it up with fluid uh so it doesn't have to be all the way up i mean you can put more or less you do have your max line your min uh, for now i'm just gonna put it to the max and then we'll go on to the next step which will simply be to get the air bubbles out All right, so I might have overfilled it, but you can see it does have fluid in there. So next, you're gonna wanna put both of these hoses. Make sure they're in all the way into the liquid. Oh, also make sure you're using the correct brake fluid. Uh, the Toyota MR2 uses uh, dot three, uh, but double check before you, you put anything in there. Now, both of these hoses have to stay in here so they don't suck in air from anything. Uh, you can see it's kind of difficult to hold. So what I found was easier, you just use tape to kind of hold them in place. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Tape them together. There you go. You can see we have the two hoses inside. We have both hoses connected here. Um, and we have fluid in there. So All right. Hopefully you guys can see it on here. Uh, what we're going to do now, I'm just using a regular screwdriver. There's a little insert here that is when you're pressing your brake pedal this gets pushed in and pushes the fluid in this is what creates the pressure so what we're going to do 
use the screwdriver, push it in, and it should start to suck in the fluid. You're gonna wanna do this until you don't see any more air bubbles coming out. And you see all those air bubbles? You see that? So you wanna keep going until all those bubbles are out. You can look at it right here. You'll start to see them a little bit more and you see it moving slightly. You see that? There you go. So just repeat the process, go slow until it's only clear fluid coming out and uh, then you're gonna go. Just take your time, don't rush it. Oh, also important to note, keep, keep an eye on your fluid level uh, and look at your hoses, how far deep they go in, because I think the hoses only go to about here. Uh, and if you run a little low and you're sucking in air, you'll be here forever. So in my case, I need to add more fluid. Uh, and then we'll keep repeating the process until all the air bubbles are out. You can see there's an air bubble here still. And uh, when I press this in, you should be able to see less and less bubbles each time. Just to kind of give a little background as to what this does when you push that it sucks in the fluid in this case since there's air in the hose still it would suck in the air the closer you can get it to the cylinder the more chances you have of that air hitting the reservoir and in the reservoir it would just vent out and i'm going to try and get this bubble out but you can see it's moving it should be close enough now to where i can get it out and i think that might be the last bubble but i'll give it a few more tries to make sure we get everything out all right so i've been bleeding it for maybe five ten minutes i think i'm ready to go all right now that it's all bled uh we have to remove the clear lines to get it back on uh to minimize spillage because obviously these lines do have fluid in them uh, i'm gonna see if i can bolt the master cylinder onto the car and then uh, disconnect one at a time so disconnect this have a rag under to catch the fluid and then uh, connect the new line just to kind of minimize spillage uh, that's just what I'm gonna attempt, but you could probably just pull off the lines here if you wanted to uh, I don't know how much it's gonna leak, but I'd rather minimize the leak if it can be helped I just attempted to put the brake master cylinder in uh, But I noticed the new reservoir since it sits higher and it's bigger. It's hitting this uh, vacuum hose here So what I'm gonna do for now, I'm gonna disconnect the hose on both sides You could probably just use some pliers and I think this little uh, nipple right here can be turned. Yeah, I'm hoping that's the case. If it is, uh, we can just buy a longer hose and route it kind of higher up. But let's go ahead and try that now. Okay, I, I tried to keep this piece, see if I could move the nipple and get it to work, but um, I guess with this master cylinder, you're gonna lose this alignment pin. All right, now that everything's tightened down for those four bolts, uh, we're gonna start removing these clear hoses. Uh, I'm gonna start with the one up front. Uh, so first things first, obviously it's gonna spill some liquid. So just tuck something under there to, to kind of catch it. Uh, if you really wanted to get fancy with it, I, I guess you could use uh, a funnel and route it to a bottle or something. But for me, I'm just going to use uh, the towel I have here at, at the shop. Pretty much all we're doing, disconnect this, uh, connect your, your new line, and you should be good to go. Alright guys, I just got back from AutoZone, so pretty much um, 
this vacuum line right here from the brake booster did no longer fit. Uh, there you go. This is the OEM one. It was just about an inch, two inches too short. So I grabbed the same hose, just a little bit longer. Uh, nothing special there. But the brake master cylinder off of a 94 Tacoma is in the 91 MR2. This is the brake upgrade or the master cylinder upgrade. Uh, I want to emphasize. This isn't giving you increased pressure or, or anything like that. This is simply to help your uh, braking response. Um, because there is a larger bore in the Tacoma Master Cylinder, it should move more fluid um, with less travel of the brake pedal. So all this is is just a stiffer pedal feel, uh, shorter travel. Um, I'll At the end of the video, which would be after these, uh, I'll leave some commentary as to how it feels. But... I only installed this because I was already having brake pressure issues. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bleed my brake system. So bleed all my brakes and make sure I have pressure everywhere. Um, once that's done, I'll take it for a test drive and then I'll add the comments to this video as to how it feels like. Do I think it's worth it? Should we stick to OEM, some of the pros and cons? Um, but yeah, if you've been following up with the channel, um, Pretty much a simple brake pad and rotor change ended up being a three, four month project where I lost pressure in the brake system and I couldn't figure out from where. Uh, I bought new calipers, I bought a new ABS pump, I bought a different pro uh, proportioning valve and now the master cylinder. Hopefully this fixes my issue and the car has been down for about three months now. Um, but I want to be transparent with you guys because someone else at home might be having similar issues and not know what to do. Um, so hopefully this helps somebody. After driving around for a few days, I can confirm this did fix my pressure fluctuation issues within the braking system. The increased pedal feel is actually pretty nice. I can compare it to my newer cars. So that's a definite plus. Overall, would I recommend this upgrade? If you're gonna replace your master cylinder anyway, I would recommend it. The price difference isn't significant. It doesn't change your install process. Uh, it's cheap, easy mod, I think. Uh, with a slight upgrade. Overall, would do it again.